Hi, Orange Girl here with another scrapbooking process video for you. I am working with the May 2019 Click Kit, and I am also working with Flare from Flare for Buttons. So I've started with a bunch of photos that I printed about 1.25 inches by 1.25, oh, 1.75 by 1.75. Um, and I'm going to put them in this little mini book. This is a cut file by Paige Taylor Evans that I got from the Silhouette store and I am gluing some of it together. It is a cut file that you can use um, one piece of uh, uh, cardstock or pattern paper, 12 by 12, whatever you like, and create this little mini from that. And so I, I will link that below if I can find it. I've had it for a while. In fact, I cut two and um, I this is the first one I've actually used. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking some shimmers paints and I actually already applied some gesso to the paper. I just used some white card, plain white cardstock here and that looks like a little smiley face in my paint. Look at that. Anyway, so I applied, applied some gesso, let that dry, and now I am just adding some paint. I am just taking some of my shimmers paints, I'm spraying it right on my mat, on my, right on my craft mat, and then I'm adding a little bit of water um, to it just to make it a little bit runnier, I guess, and then I am adding, just put it, smushing it down, smushing the page down onto the paint, and I'm just adding some paint that way, some paint splatters. I will add those as well, um, and I just chose three colors that I thought were in the kit and would match nicely. Um, all of my photos that I printed out are in black and white, and these are just photos of my daughter over the last year or so that, or less than a year really, I think most of them are, and that I just really liked, and I, they're mostly cut uh, pictures of her face and her being kind of silly usually because that's usually what she's doing and then um, I'm just I just cut I just like I said printed those out at 1.75 inches by 1.75 inches so they fit quite nicely in this um, I think I figured out that this is about like three and a quarter by three and a half inches um, it's not quite square each of these little squares so now you can kind of see what I've gotten there and I had a little bit of bleed through here and so I just went ahead and added some white gesso to that I'm drying it with my heat gun a little bit and then going back and applying some uh, green paint over the top of the pink and the white gesso that I applied over the pink just to add um, it just didn't look quite right with that pink bleed through so I just made it look a little bit more like a green bleed through <laughs> but it worked out it worked out really nicely so off camera I do add a little bit of distressings and I'll kind of show you what I end up doing with that um, all I ended up doing was adding some to the cover mostly. So anyway, so now to the inside. I am most, with the exception of some ephemera and then this B, this letter B, I am mostly using things from this paper pad here, which is I think in the junior kit and it is crepe paper. And I love, love, love it. It's from the All Heart collection and that's what most of the papers are from this collection as well that are in the kit except for this letter B. This um, is from Heidi Swap. So I have my second book out here because my other book was just not dry and I was getting it all over my hands and I was afraid I was going to get the paint onto the cover and I didn't want to do that. So what I'm doing is I'm using the other <laughs> um, cut file that I've already cut but not done anything with. I, I'm just using that, which I don't I don't use it for anything other than to mock this up because I wanted to go ahead and get started on the inner pages a little bit while that was drying. So now I'm just kind of trying to figure out if it's going to look okay on the cover. So once I figured that out, then I don't need that anymore, and I don't use it for any other part of the layout. Um, I just added a little bit of stitching. I'm going to stitch throughout this in, with using black thread, and I am going to use mostly pink tangled thread throughout. So the black was to kind of bring out some of the black in the collection, but also the black and white photos. And now what I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm picking out some papers that I would like to use uh, behind my photos are really actually more on the opposite side of the photo that I'm going to use. So I'm cutting them like three, like I said, like I think it's like three and a quarter inches by three and a half inches, each of these little pieces of paper. 
And then I'm grabbing some of my embellishments, some of my stickers, and just kind of going through and kind of mocking up how I think I, it could look or it might look. It, it ends up changing some of them a lot and some of them a little bit. And I mess up. I lose a picture. I lose a photograph <laughs> somewhere, and then I find it later, and I'll show you how I figure that out. This is a little bit longer video than I normally do, and it's mostly because um, it does. Minis do take uh, can take a little bit longer, and um, I didn't want to crop or cut out too much of the process because I think it's kind of fun watching how um, I make decisions or how other people make decisions when I'm watching videos. So I thought you might like to see kind of my process. And so since that's kind of the point of process videos, so I didn't want to cut out too much of it. So, so I start out with that. She just shines, um, tag and the words she shines to the right of it. And I was planning on using that photograph of my daughter. She has lights around her head that she has attached their battery operated lights and I thought that would be perfect. And then when I go to start gluing stuff down, I use a different photo. I have no idea how that even happened. So that was like my big kind of mistake. I lost this photo, didn't realize it. Um, it was st stuck to something or something, I don't know. And um, I end up using a different one because I, I, I printed far more photos than I needed for the actual layout just because I wasn't exactly sure which ones I was going to use. Sorry, I bumped my camera there, my tripod. So what I'm doing here is I'm going through ephemera. I'm going through um, all kinds of different sticker sheets and things that I have in the collection. I've already done my cover. You can see that on the upper left. I added um, a uh, flare from a flare for buttons that says be bold and brave and it's um, in black and white which fit the whole thing here um, beautifully. Um, the letter B because that's the beginning of her name and then some pattern paper behind it and then the little um, frame and it's kind of on there a little bit wonky. So I think this is like probably the next day and everything is dried and I'm going to go ahead and start gluing some stuff in. So this is my first page and I'm using a sticker. I'm using um, this little piece of the pattern paper has all these little, one of the pattern pieces of pattern paper has these little squares all over it that have little sayings on them. And so I'm using that. Um, she's being silly. This was from our vacation. And some of these photos that I'm using in this little mini, I will probably, well, I, some of them I already have scrapped um, on a full 12 by 12 layout, but that doesn't really bother me at all because this layout, this mini is more about her being silly and all of her different poses throughout this year. Um, and I think there's about eight or nine photos that I end up putting. So here I have the right photo. I don't know if you just saw that. I put the right photo up there and now it is flipped over. You can see the back side, which is white because off camera, I put a little bit of cardstock behind each one of the photos. And then when I pick up my photo to glue it down, I picked up a different photo and glued it down. And I don't even realize it as I'm going that that's what I've done until far into the creation here. So, okay, so my camera, you can't see this on camera, but above this photo or above this area that you can see um, on my table, um, right off camera to the top is my um, sewing machine. And so I am sewing stuff down. Um, a lot of it I'm sewing the card and I'm not sewing it into the actual um, book because I don't want it to show on the back. But because I haven't actually bound the book at all yet, I am also able to occasionally put it in <clears throat> the sewing machine in a way that um, the back won't be seen because it folds kind of like accordion style a little bit and so the back side you don't see and so that part I'm able to um, stitch onto so this one like for example I just stitched that right onto the photo and then now I'm going to glue it down 
I am using Scotch Quick Dry Glue in a fine liner bottle. I use that for a lot of my layouts. Um, I usually get someone that asks. Um, Missy Whitten uses that as well, and that's kind of where I got the idea to use it. It works really well when you're doing mixed media, especially because anytime you use gesso, your stickers just really don't stick. Alphas don't stick, pretty much nothing sticks, unless you use some pretty decent glue. And so I use this and it works really, really well. It also allows for me to move things around a little bit at first, but then it does dry fairly quickly. So once I've made a decision, um, then I can go ahead and glue things down and um, it'll stay within short due time. So, all right, so I'm just going through each one and adding pictures and adding pattern paper basically on the opposite side of where the picture is. Now, in the very beginning when I was gluing some pieces together, um, right at the very beginning when I just had a plain white um, paper, um, that I, the places that I glued together became little pockets. And so there are three pockets that I will do at the very, very, very end. Um, I will add um, tags in those pockets, and you'll see that here in just a second. So I love the washi. I have three, I think, from this over various kits So I have from this collection. So one is a striped one that I don't think I use. And then one has that floral on it. And then one is pink that says, you go girl, all over it. And I really like them all. And I use them in this um, to make it look like it's holding down a photo or just to add a little pop of color here and there. So right now I am well, probably half done and I am going through and trying to decide um, what's going to go in the pockets that I have, but I'm also at the same time kind of multitasking. At the same time, I'm also putting two or three little pages together at the same time. I wasn't super happy with one of them, so I was going back and forth and working on a different one. So you'll see me kind of flip there. I'm flipping back and forth and back and forth. I'm trying to include um, the green, the yellow, and the pink on just about every page, just because I did do that with the paints, not on every page, but on many of the pages, and then also just because it's nice to have a couple of different colors. So like that one, that pink page right there, it doesn't have any other colors on it, but when I, and so when I add these other things in, it's going to look mostly pink with some pops of other color, but a lot of the pages it has, um, more than one color on it and I just I like the way it looks okay so those are stickers here comes the fun and I like the way they um, look on that pattern paper that was one of the first things like I saw and it stayed I saw that like in my head and I liked it and it stayed so now I'm doing two pages or three pages at the same time <laughs> and what I'm doing is I've realized at this point that I used the wrong photo Okay, so it's right about in here that I'm like, I wonder where that photo went with all the lights on it. So I was kind of looking around and, and trying to decide and trying to figure out what I was going to do. And I really kind of didn't think I was going to use that photo of her um, below the uh, mini right now that has her in a hat. I thought I, I might use it at first. And then when I started laying things out, I thought, eh, I don't know. The rest of them, none of them look very wintry. And this one looks super wintry. And with this collection and stuff, I thought, eh, I probably won't end up using that. <clears throat> but now I've kind of run out of photos. I'm like, I know I had three or four extra photos. Where did all my photos go? <laughs> and that's when I realized that I used the wrong photo on that other one. So anyway, you'll see how I fix that in just a little bit here. So all this page needed was that little pop of green on the left, and then um, I really like the way that turned out. I add some washi that I have ripped, and I end up changing this out here and adding the pink washi to the left, and then the flower washi to the right. And this flower washi is really um, thick, but I'm just using part of it. So I'm cutting, not cutting, sorry, I'm um, ripping off one side of it. All right, so I've messed with this page a little bit, quite a bit actually, and couldn't just decide on what I liked and what I didn't like, and so now I'm just like, okay, it's fine. I'm going to add a little thread and call it done, and that's mostly what I do. I do mess with it, I think, a little bit more. 
add a little stitching. I think I end up adding some words to this one. I'm not sure. I didn't do any journaling really in this book because it doesn't, it's not really telling a story other than, I guess the photos kind of tell the story. Um, so this is where I'm like, where did that photo go? Where is it? Like I was going to put it in that shines place and I'm still looking for it and I can't find it. It's kind of funny. So I do, I added a little bit of text here and then, oh, when I flip that through you can, over, you can kind of see that on the very back right there, it's a really dark teal and on the front also, I'm looking for that photo, you guys. Seriously, that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm looking for the photo. So, <clears throat> and then I find two of the photos that I'd lost. So here's, here's where I do that. That was one that I lost and it is uh, one of my most favorite photos of her. And I actually, um, have already scrapped that one, but I, maybe even twice. <laughs> I love it. The story behind it is awesome. And I think it also made it into my December daily, but anyway, um, so that really kind of darker teal is, comes from a distress oxide ink pad that I used because I wanted a little bit darker coverage on the front and I'd already kind of put my paints away and everything else was dry and so I thought why not just add a little bit of ink because that dries quicker and so that's what I did. Um, let's see. So just the same kind of thing over and over. A little bit of pattern paper, uh, maybe a little ephemera, a flower. I think there's a flower on almost every page. Um, some are stickers and some are die cuts, um, but they all end up looking really nice. I think that's one of the things I like to do when I make a mini as I try to tie it together in some way. So each page has something kind of similar. It also helps to actually make it. If you have something very similar on every page, then you just kind of get in the groove a little bit more. Um, it's a little bit easier to kind of make decisions because you know you're going to put a flower on there or whatever it is, whatever the case may be. So that sticker I cut in half and I'm using half of the sticker on the left and I think I use the other half over on the right or maybe I use it on a different page I can't remember. <clears throat> okay so this is the photo that I didn't think I was going to use. <laughs> I'm still kind of Look, I still have not found the light bulb photo, I don't think. <laughs> so I think, okay, fine, I'm just going to use this photo. That's fine, whatever. And I go ahead and there, there's where I add the sticker. And I go ahead and start this and I'm like, I really don't like this. I don't like, there's just something I can't make work. And it's the flowers and the hat and ugh, I just didn't like it. So I don't really want to use that fix photo so then so then I decide that it's really maybe it's not the photo maybe I need more um, ink on the back so I can't remember if I do this on or off camera but I get some distress ink or so my distress inks out again and I'm gonna add a little bit more pink to this just um, a little bit like that. And then I think I get out a pink Distress Oxide. Yeah, and then I added, you can kind of see how I added it to the corners. And then I changed out my photo. I found this other photo that I was gonna use <laughs> and, and had lost. I think some of them got stuck in with the ephemera pieces and then I found them as I was going through the ephemera. So let's see, this says, you go girl is one, um, is on the ephemera piece and then I added girl power which I think I can't remember if that was a die cut or if it was um, stickers but it's metallic I think it's a die cut and then I'm adding a little bit of washi to make it kind of look like the washi is holding it there and then I'm pretty much done except the cover so I cut this piece right here from the six by eight pad and I'm adding a little bit of washi underneath there and then I'm going to add my cover that I made. That was like the first thing I made. And then I'm going to hook it all together with just a big clip. And I'm going to set that aside and let that dry. And then after that's dried for a while, I found the photo of her <laughs> with the um, lights around her. And I found, I made some tags just using a die cut, like a, 
manual die cut machine that I have, um, and I I use the tags a lot for that. And I made three tags. Um, they were a little long, so I cut off the edges of them, and I am putting them behind. So one of them I added a photo to, and the other two I just add some more die cuts to, and you can pull those out. And you'll see at the end here I have a quick walkthrough, um, like 30 seconds where I show um, all of the pages, and then close-up shots too of each of the spreads. And this is really tiny. Like I said, it's like, um, what did I say, like 3 by 3 ish a little bit more than that, a little bit bigger than that. So this little, uh, this little thing that says chill that I made earlier, but then didn't end up using, I just added that to that last tag, and then it's done. So here's the here's the walkthrough. So I really love my cover cover, and I love that piece of or that piece of flare on the front. That is my it probably makes the whole thing to be honest because I love that pop of black, and you can see how. Each page kind of has um, a lot of those three colors in it, or at least a little pop of each of those colors um, in some way or another for the most part, with a few exceptions. And then that's it. That's my little mini. And here come the close-ups. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, whether you came to this through a flare for buttons or click kits or my webpage or my Instagram or whatever, I really appreciate um, that you stopped by and watched today and let me know if you have any questions about this project or any of my other projects and I will be more than happy to answer them and I will see you in my next video. Thanks a lot.